estimates of schistosomiasis vary. Um, 200 million, 207 million is the um, accepted number, but there are reports that would offer the suggestion that up to 700 million people are either affected, are affected or afflicted with the disease, either active or still suffering from the consequences of previous disease. So that's a lot of people now are into the realm of malaria in terms of people being infected. It can kill in heavy infections, but it tends to be one of a number of diseases that really just make you feel bad. It's a slow attrition of the organ, uh, the systematics, the organ uh, biology, whereby your, your liver, your spleen, your gut is slowly being degraded in terms of its functional ability. And over time, that can lead to pain, malaise, and chronic fatigue, so that you're less likely to get up in the morning to go to school, which is important in terms of school kids missing school because of these kind of diseases. Um, and in terms of adult productivity, getting out into the fields, um, working, uh, so that these types of diseases, schistosomiasis included, were really contributors to poverty, as well as just being associated with poverty. And what's really become quite apparent recently is that children under the age of four become infected, and children as young as six months are infected, whereby moms put their kids on their backs, they bring them down to the water, and they become infected through the contaminated water. So there's a whole cohort of young children now that wasn't previously recognized to have disease actually containing or uh, possessing uh, strong schistosomiasis, or presenting with strong schistosomiasis.